And for the moment, we have one enormous problem, risk, fear, and administration. The administration is becoming really a too big presence in everything. If I would be 25 years, I would have a problem because I, I couldn't, I, I don't know how to work in that environment because um, there's so many rules, there's so many laws. It's a very kind of subtle way of taking away all your ideas. You know, it's all the functionaries, it's all the civil servants that talk about creativity. The, the civil servants become more relaxed. Uh, but I tell you, the artists become more administrators, very important people. But uh, they are not representing society. The society is done of many, many people who are not important. <laughs> If you talk about creativity, it is something nice about that because it is not socially employable. Uh, you, you cannot make a, a social rule out of it. It is resistant, it is resilient, but it cannot be only the dream of the administrators. It has to happen at each place wherever people are, is a center of creativity. But we don't need the masterwork where we are only giving all our potential into the admiration of the great work of somebody else. We should be the masterworks and we, should, we are the center. So that's really important, uh, especially in the context of the kids and of the young people who are we're growing up into that, in that, into that more and more complex environment. Since centuries we go to school, we shouldn't forget that. We are influenced, we are influenced by indoctrinated, we are, we are uh, the result of civilization. And even if we talk about barbarians, we mean people who don't behave according to the codes of our civilization. So um, uh, culture is, is something that is present in the, in the sports, in the way how we see health, in the way we, how we see every kind of manifestation. And there is no sacral, like something important and up there that is culture. A culture is everywhere and we talk today about a cultural society. And we don't mean a society of artists. We mean that our society as such is cultural, if you want to describe it. It's not an econ economy society, it's not a uh, a manufacturing society, it is a cultural society. <music> to think about uh, society is culture. So uh, our consciousness is culture. And, um, and our con consciousness is perhaps the most astounding uh, resource that has been growing since the last 50 years. I mean, people didn't have the same standards of justice, the same uh, reasons to be happy or unhappy some time ago. So we have become a more and more sensitive, a more and more nervous society uh, on topics like what is just, what is unjust, what should be, what is. There's a 
There's a discussion, there's a debate. If you want to have something, to get something, you have to give up something. That's the nature of being in peace. So we're all a little bit unhappy because nobody gets what he wants. But we shouldn't forget that we, uh, the result of all that is that we are alive and that we are not making wars and that it is uh, quite nice to come together. And even if it is not always uh, very important what we do, the fact that we are together from different languages, from different cultural backgrounds, former enemies, all of us, and, uh, and even being bored is a progress.